Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm showing you um, a few details about um, a door. I'm getting a new door for the truck. Uh, newer anyways. <clears throat> and I'll show you why. I've always had trouble with the uh, this door sagging real bad. You can kind of see how bad. Got it unlocked, so here, just watch it, watch it drop. Yeah, see so look how hard it is to get that sucker out. Look how bad the uh, striker is. And then it's closing so bad here. But um, this is the main problem, as always, on these trucks down here. I tried to rebuild it and just nothing seemed to work. So, that side, you can sell that side really bad. So, we're going to try a new door, see if that helps. Um, long term, we probably will need to do the uh, hinges up here. I found out the doorman makes replacement hinges here and for the door itself. So we'll see uh, see how it works but just watch how much watch how much play I mean it's just crazy how much uh, play there is in this door so that's the story now I'll show you the new one I've got alrighty so here's a newer door thankfully I was uh, looking on Craigslist and was able to find exactly the right color. I asked him about doors. He said, yeah, what color you got? I said, pewter. I need to clean it up. I haven't tried that yet. Worst thing is the uh, edges here because the uh, 04 it was off of was in a wreck. So kind of mess up there. Hopefully you're going to be able to clean it up. And uh, so anyways, but here's the, being an 04, it looks like it has the improved uh, hinges here. So we'll uh, we'll see how it works. Thankfully, it was still on the truck when I uh, went to go pick it up. So it was real easy to uh, look at. No major issues with the uh, how it closed in the cab there. So pretty happy with it so far. It was a manual window. Fits there. Thankfully, not too hard to get that out. Just follow the uh, your guidelines here for the regulator. There's one there. 10 millimeter bolts all around. Thankfully, the um, getting the door handle was out it was a lot easier. So, thankfully, I can just swap my entire piece right over here, and I don't have to pull the old key out, which is nice. Just snap your little uh, tags here, or there, those little snaps come off of here. Thankfully, this has um, I got this one and the one on the right here unbolted. I uh, wasn't sure how to get this one off, but a little tab right there. I was just using my uh, drill driver, which is really helping out. So yeah, worked out pretty good. We're going to clean it up and hopefully get this on Saturday. We'll see. I almost forgot. <clears throat> I went in and took the window out because mine's tinted. So one thing that seemed to be the easiest was to take your regulator out first, tape it, or have an extra set of hands or a block of wood right here. Leave the window inside. And then what seemed to be the best was to, let's see, watch my hand, take the window, hand fits the window, drop it down, down, down into the frame, kind of turn it sideways, and then be able to pull it up out over on this side. That seemed to be the easiest. We'll see how it goes to uh, to put back in. This truck had the power locks, and that wire comes in right here and travels along here. There's a tab there along this side, and then there's a plug. All right, sorry about the camera tumble. So the uh, the wire for the power locks travels here. I'll have extra wires too going up, obviously for the power windows, etc., and for the speaker. I'm gonna have to cut this out a little bit bigger because my truck was modded with a 6x9 speaker, so that could be interesting getting that to fit. But anywho, um, what I did was, um, and then there's another plug, let's see, let's see. Yeah. camera flip, there you go, there's a power plug in here, I'm going to try to avoid messing with that but we'll um, see what needs to be done it may be easier just to uh, to switch that out we'll see but anyways some tricks on how to do this now I'm gonna clean it up I hope it's nasty of course we'll be using super clean 
Alrighty everybody, so it's Saturday. Yesterday we had pictures of the door up, so here it is on the truck. See the color's a good bit off, so not real dreadful, but bad enough. But anyways, it uh, definitely sits a much better. I ran into an issue a little bit with the uh, fitment. You can see there's a few little issues where it uh, uh, seems to be out just a smidge along here, a little bit high up here. And it looks like along the side here might have been dented in a little bit. The fitment here seems to be about right. And then down in these areas it looks right. So I don't know if it's um, you know door or, uh, or what it is, but uh, thankfully it seems to open pretty good. What we've got an issue with is the um, another video here. A few adjustments on the striker here. Uh, ended up drilling out the um, these just a little bit to drop um, the latch system here. But overall, the uh, swap went real easy. Uh, just took everything out. Even got my visor uh, back on. But uh, worked good. We took the uh, window out, put it back into here. Everything just went uh, really smooth. So. The, uh, the truck side of the hinges seem to be in good shape, so that's good. We got the new um, uh, kits on there, the pin kits. So that seems to be good. Everything looks nice and shiny there. Got it lubed up. Uh, but yeah, happy with it so far. Got everything put back together, so uh, not a real real bad job. We're about um, 5.30 now, and I just kind of poked along at it since um, 11.30. So I don't think that's uh, too bad at all. I've still got an issue where... Uh, is that uh, when you turn when you have the ignition on I will turn it on here okay so we got it on for whatever reason I'm not getting any courtesy lights on and the radio when I take the keys out will stay on even though the door is open and it won't go off until I open an, another door so there it goes so not sure what that is, but I think we'll just call it old truck life. But anyways, it's done for now. We'll decide if we uh, want to paint it later and make some more adjustments, but uh, right now we're back on the road with a little bit less uh, door slamming.